So I just saw this on Reddit and I think it's really cool, so check this out. It says, which method of integration is being used here? Okay, let's have a look. So we just have a pretty standard integral, right? The integral of x times square root of a squared minus x squared dx, and then the a is just a constant. So for the first line, we have the 1 half and the x is gone, and right here we have d parentheses x squared. Hmm. Next, we have this negative, and then here we have a squared minus, okay? And then last, the, well, by the way, the square root is the 1 half power, I know that. And then lastly, they have the 1 half plus 1 divided by the 1 half plus 1. So what exactly is going on? Well, the quick answer for this is just that it's just doing the u substitution in a fancier manner. That said, though, I'm just going to do it with a traditional format for you guys, and then I will explain all the steps. So if you look at the integral of x times the square root of a squared minus x squared dx, First, to do u sub, you can put u equal to the inner function, but I'm not going to do that because I want to match all the steps. So, first step, I'm going to put u equal to just x squared. Because you see, if you differentiate both sides, you get 2x dx. We have x here and a dx, but we need a 2. So right here, we can multiply this by 2 and then multiply by 1 half. So they cancel and we get the original. And that explains the one half. Moreover, you see that usually we'll just somehow write the 2x dx with du, but u is equal to what? x squared. So the notation that we can use is this. We can write du as d of x squared. And if you look at d as the derivative operator, then when you differentiate that, you get 2x and then dx, right, the differential. Take the derivative x squared. Yeah, so just like that. So the first line is that we have this one half, and then this and that, I'm not going to go to u world, unfortunately. Oh, I love the u world, but I'm going to go into the x squared world. I'm going to keep this inside like this, though, because they didn't do anything. So let's do that. So not the u world, but the dx squared just really like the u world. So if you think about it as like, we are in the x squared world now, or the u world now, uh, this whole thing is not allowed because you have to match the whole thing inside. If this is u, we don't want x. Yeah, that's the idea. So what, like, can, what can we do though? Remember, the d is just like to take the derivative. We can easily match it. Have a look. I'm going to have d and then a is just a constant. So if you put that in here, the derivative of a squared is just gone, zero, yeah? Okay, that's good. But I also want to have the negative. Let's go, okay. Let me introduce a negative here as well. The derivative of negative x squared, we get negative 2x, all that stuff, right? So on the very outside, negative times the negative gives us the positive. We need a negative here. And then we have the 1 half integral, still the square root, a squared minus x squared. Now we are in business. You can treat this as a variable. You can look at this as like a W or something, right? Just seriously look at this as the W, W, that you are doing the W substitution. So if you are doing that, then you will do one negative one half integral W to the one half power and then DW, yeah? It's really what's going on like this step here. And then they roll the square root as the one half power Maybe I will do that right here too, to match all the steps. It's really just like this. And when you want to integrate this, what do you do? Well, you just look at this power, you add one to it, and then divide it by the new power. And then that's pretty much it. And that's exactly that. And then the cool thing is that it's just that you have to match the integral and then the differential if there's no other variable other functions multiplying, then the beauty is that you can cancel out the integral and the differential. It's just like that. Very, very cool. So I'm going to fin finish it right here. So right here we will have negative one half. We have done all the calculus already. This right here is the answer, okay? And then this right here is what? This is three over two. On the bottom though, 
So I have to flip that and then I get 2 over 3 here. And then we have this, which is, okay, I'll write everything in red, a squared minus x squared to the 3 over 2 power. That's exactly what you will get if you do it like this way too. And now of course, cancel stuff out. And then you can put a plus c now or we'll put a plus c afterward. Doesn't really matter. Let's say negative 1 over 3. a squared minus x squared. And then to the 3 half power plus c. Right? So yeah, you can just treat this as like a different uh, style of uh, writing out the U substitu substitution. 